Binding Binding is the key to the new school of yo-yo tricks because it enables you to use unresponsive yo-yos. The normal responsive yo-yo will return to your hand if you simply tug on the string while it's spinning. But unresponsive yo-yos are designed to prevent string and friction from affecting the yo-yo. So just tugging on the string will barely affect the yo-yo spin. The way to return an unresponsive yo-yo is by using a maneuver known as a bind. Here is what happens when you bind a yo-yo. As the yo-yo is sleeping, you add additional segments of string into the gap. With these extra layers, the string can now touch the sides of the yo-yo and activate the yo-yo's response system, and you will be able to bring it back to your hand. The most reliable bind, and one of the easiest to learn, is called the backspin bind. You start by throwing the yo-yo into a sleeper. Make sure that the yo-yo is straight and pointing directly away from you. Position your non-throw hand in front of the string level with your belly button and point your index finger sideways. This finger will become a pivot point for the yo-yo to flip around in order to land on the string. The most effective way of accomplishing this is to keep that finger still and move only your throw hand. This will cause the yo-yo to flip up and over your finger. As the yo-yo begins to fall, you can bring your throw hand back down. As long as you keep the string segments aligned, the yo-yo should come down and land on the string. You now have a loop dangling from your index finger with the yo-yo resting in a V shape. From this position, you will be able to execute a bind. The easiest way to learn to do this is to cross the string segments. Move your non-throw hand back and your throw hand forward. Now, while keeping your throw hand where it is, slowly feed the loop into the gap. As the string bunches up, you will feel a sharp tug on the loop. This is the response system activating. Now release the loop from your finger and pull up with your throw hand and the yo-yo will return to your hand. Notice that the less responsive a yo-yo is, the more string you will need to insert into the gap to cause a bind. As the yo-yo returns, you'll want to release the loop as close as possible to the yo-yo. If you let go too soon, the loop itself might not bind properly, even though the rest of the string will. The backspin bind is only one of many different bind returns, and as you learn more tricks, you can learn new binds to return the yo-yo from different positions.